Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. If you already subscribed, thanks for it. In last video, we have seen the difference between live data and flow. And we have seen that there is no similarity between these two concepts. But still we have a curiosity and in the learning stage also we also want to learn how the flow have deprecated this live data. So here I am giving you a real example that how the state flow has deprecated live data. So live data we are using but still Android have deprecated the using of live data and it promoting state flow. Why? The one thing is that live data is a Java concept means it was introduced in Java and Java also use live data and Kotlin also support live data. But this state flow is not a concept of Java because flow is based on coroutine and coroutine is not available in Java. Coroutine is only available in Kotlin. So that's why you know that very well that uh, and Android uh, in Android application uh, Google doesn't want to uh, promote now Java language it want to promote Kotlin language because of that is promoting to use flow because flow use coroutines and in place of thread coroutines are better and this live data is support use threads and uh, it also not thread safe also. Uh, but uh, this state uh, state flow is a based on coroutine and coroutines are the better than the threads and they work on thread but they are much more powerful and much more simple and easy also and they are not uh, producing ANR error in application. We know that that's why we are using now state flow and we are also showing here demo that how we can use uh, state flow and how we can replace live data if you know live data so you will learn how you can use state flow in place of live data both are just similar concept but there are some difference so what are the differences that i will show you so here uh, first of all uh, we have to insert dependencies so remember that just uh, you have to uh, enable view binding first of all here and then you uh, insert the dependencies just copy paste and here and insert the coroutine also how you will do just here type uh, live data dependency and click here and now just copy latest one this one copy this one till the optional available here and copy and paste there and make sync now remember do not use val just in place of val write def like this like like def otherwise it will generate error now we have extra dependency also for coroutines because state flow use coroutines that's why this dependency is also required so just again type on internet coroutine dependency and insert yourself and now i'm going here and this coding and if we say here the layout also that what uh, what is in this layout so here is a text box whenever I will write some value in text box if I click on live data change so live data information will change here in this text view if I click on a state flow change then this same value will change here so once I will change for live data second I will change for flow data, state flow data here after clicking this so how we will perform this now I just creating a new view model remember that view model is required for live data also and for state flow also so i say main view uh, model like this and uh, class is here so i inherit this class by using view model like this and import this one also now create here private live data like this and here uh, we have to declare val sorry where uh, well and here i say uh, live data equal to mutable live data and here i pass a string and here i pass a data also and i say uh, live data info now i just create one more variable just for live data public 
and here I say uh, live data as live data and here I am passing a string. Now I want to create a function to update live data information. So I say update live data and here I am passing a value of string type like this and here simply just update live data value. Similarly in same concept we have to use the state flow also here I say state flow equal to mutable state flow remember that mutable state flow and here I am passing here I am passing the value that uh, state flow info and again I am creating a public variable for state flow and I am creating this state flow as as a state flow like this remember that all are equivalent you see both are equivalent no changes here just we are passing a string but here we are directly passing information all our information are same just same now i'm going to update it so say update state flow again passing value of string type and here i am using state flow dot value and equal to value you see no change at all same replacement that's why we are saying that a deprecating live data just state flow use state flow and state flow use coroutines also so i'm just giving example here here i'm using this already view binding is enabled so i am creating this view binding dot btn so whenever i click on button live data so uh, the live data information should change so how we change just here i have to uh, call view binding also so we am creating a variable of view binding so review model so here i say a view model provider and I pass this here dot get and here I pass main view model like this now here I use view model dot update live data as we did in last program also and here I pass binding dot txt dot uh, txt live state change dot text dot to string like this so value is update now i want to update the value of but state flow also just click on this and i want to change the value of state flow and remember that we are going to update the value of state flow so view model dot uh, update state flow like this and i am passing here the value of same text field dot text dot to string like this so till now all are equivalent remember that same now i have to link this text view means i want to link this text view with live data and this text view with the state flow so have how i will do just view model dot uh, state uh, live data dot observer and here I pass this and under after this I will just observe here remember that I am using here observer and here I am passing this value and here by using binding dot txt live data dot txt I am passing it here like this very simple because it using in, in the same UI thread and it using use in thread and it's a uh, uh, java uh, java concept live data and as are also uh, supported by kotlin but whenever i will use this type of concept with state flow you see state flow dot collect latest here it's generating an error 
and same coding if I type here remember I do like this in place of live data I say state data state flow dot text like this so here generating error why because it's a part of coroutine and it should be used under coroutine so here I am going to call life cycle model life cycle scope and under I am saying that whenever I start a thread launch whenever I start a coroutine or we get a value we should launch it like this so it's a part of coroutine and it running perfectly remember that it is not safe it may generate ANR problem if it take long time and it may take long time also if you are using somewhere else and you are passing a value here so it may take time if it take long time it may generate ANR problem so here but it is under a coroutine it may take well time but it doesn't uh, generate any kind of ANR problem it's a safe and better also you see it is a different only this is the difference but only just when we get the value to replace the binding object like text view here we are taking otherwise the use of this are same same type of use same type of use here here also same type of updation just the linking is safe this state flow is safe now we see the uh, we run the program and we see the output the how they behave you see if I click on this the value change because it's a blank if I click on this value change because it's a blank means both are equivalent right now if I press here uh, change uh, live data value I click on live data you see value is coming here if I say change state flow value like this and I change this the state flow value is also change and remember that both value change if I rotate the screen now we say what happened you see I rotate the screen both values are preserved remember I'm changing the information both are preserved again I'm rotating your screen again once again like this and I'm changing this information and you see all information preserved that means both are behaving same you see when I click on this when I click on this you see because I am having a state value but if I say here a live data like this and I click again live data so live data will come here so means both are equivalent like this now I do one thing here to test you that what is the difference here I use uh, uh, so you can say snack bar snack bar dot make here I say binding dot root and here I display value it and here I say uh, snack bar dot length short and here I say dot show again I just copy this and I paste it remember that I am doing this and once again I try to run now I want to uh, show you that are they are still same on toast or snack bar we are going to check here now if I do here right I say change live data value like this click on this live data value change I say change state flow value I click here this information change okay snack bar value is also coming now I am rotating a screen and I check the snack bar is coming or not you see snack bar is showing state flow change remember remember notice here again I just rotate a screen and I rotate it and you see the information is coming state flow value change state flow value 
रिमेंबर दिस चेंज लाइव डेटा वैल्यू इज नॉट कमिंग द वैल्यू इज कमिंग चेंज स्टेट फ्लो इफ आई मेक इट कमेंट ऑल्सो एंड आई ट्राई टू रन वंस अगेन आई शो यू ओनली वन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू लाइव डेटा देन आई विल शो यू द स्टेट फ्लो देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड यू सी लाइव डेटा इंफॉर्मेशन इज कमिंग हेयर ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज आई हैव अ लाइव डेटा स्नैक बार ओनली और आई से चेंज लाइव डेटा दिस वन एंड आई प्लेस दिस लाइव डेटा यू सी दिस इज कमिंग now if i rotate this screen like this like this and like this and i click here once again like this and click here the snack bar is coming once again i just do and i click here and you see snack bar is coming so every time whenever i just rotate a screen the value change and if i do same with this so i run it and you see state flow information is coming now if i change the value of live data live data change like this live data change and i say state flow change the state flow data change like this so this information is changed now remember this information is coming once again i am pressing and remember that i am pressing a key but snack bar information is not coming so it only displaying when i change value if i change value here and i click here then we have a information state flow change if the value change then it's showing the value but if i click again 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 it not showing me this information again and again remember the change so i am clicking here but it not displaying this snack bar change but i if i change the value then it show the information means only when will information change then it show the value okay but in case of this live data and i run once again you see live data information and if i if i here say uh, change live data click on it so it show the this one snack bar again i click show again remember i click show again i click show again so again and again <coughs> is showing the information on click event but the value is not change remember value is not change value is same but again and again it's showing this information repeatedly so again and again it also wasting your resources and taking more power at behind but it is not in case of state flow state flow is changing information it displaying information only when the value change then it show information if value doesn't change it doesn't show information but whenever we rotate a screen then both the live data and state flow both change both display information so the concept of both are same but in some cases state flow is better than the live data that's why now android uh, in android google have deprecated the use of live data and promoting the state flow so here we have seen the difference in next video we will see what is the difference between state flow and shared flow so please see that video also to understand the complete concept that's all in this video i think you learn so much concept here and the concept of uh, live data and state flow is also clear to you so if you like this video if you learn something from this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video